Greetings, fellow cinephiles and TV enthusiasts. We're thrilled to have you join us on our journey to explore the world of movies and to shows, from the latest blockbusters to hidden gems. We're here to guide you through it all. But before we begin, we must issue a spoiler alert, as we don't want to ruin the magic for anyone who hasn't watched these movies or shows. So grab your favorite snack, sit back, and let's get started. Oh, and keep an eye out for our monthly giveaway program. More on that in a bit. Anthony Mikoya here, Dormitine is a visual artist living in Chicago with his girlfriend, art gallery director. To Brianna Cartwright Tana Paris. One night, Brianna's brother Troy Nathan Stewart Jarrett shares the urban legend of Helen Lowell Virginia Madsen, a white graduate student who went on a killing spree in the early. The story goes that her rampage culminated in a bonfire outside the Cabrini Green projects, at which point she attempted to sacrifice an infant child. The residents were able to rescue the child from Helen before she perished in the fire in an apparent act of self immolation. Desperate for a creative spot to turn his career around, Anthony latches onto this story and roams around Cabrini Green looking for inspiration. He eventually has a chance encounter with William Burke Coleman Domingo, a laundrette owner who introduces him to the story of Candyman. When Burke was a child, he had a frightening encounter with Sherman Fields Michael Hargrove, a hook-handed man whom the police believed was responsible for putting a razor blade in a piece of candy that ended up in the hands of a white girl. Burke inadvertently alerted the police to his presence in the walls of one of the tower blocks, leading them to beat Sherman to death. Sherman was later exonerated when more children received candy with razor blades. The legend goes that repeating the name Candyman five times in front of a mirror invokes Sherman's spirit, at which point he appears in the reflection and kills whoever spoke his name. Inspired by this, Anthony develops an art exhibit around the legend of Candyman and showcases it at Brianna's gallery but is dismayed when he does not get the kind of reaction he was hoping for. That night, one of Brianna's co-workers and his girlfriend are slaughtered by Candyman after saying his name five times in front of a mirror. Their bodies are discovered in the morning by Brianna. More people are killed after repeating Candyman's name including an art critic and a group of teenage girls. Meanwhile, Anthony begins to undergo a physical transformation stemming from a bee sting he suffered on his hand while walking around Cabrini Green. The sting develops into a scab that begins to spread and cover his whole body. Anthony later goes to a hospital to get checked out, where he learns that his mother lied about where he was born. Anthony soon pays a visit to his mother Vanessa Williams, who reveals he was the baby Helen Lyle saved from the fire the night she died. Though the truth is that Helen saved him from Candyman, who abducted him and planned to sacrifice him in the fire, she never told him about it because she wanted Anthony to have a chance at a normal life. The community had vowed never to repeat the legend of Candyman after that night and his mother fears what will happen to Anthony now that someone has broken their pact. Anthony leaves resigned to his fate and wanders the row houses of Cabrini Green. Concerned about Anthony, Brianna recalls him mentioning that he first heard about Candyman from Bo so she heads to Cabrini Green in hopes of finding him. Once there, Burke subdues Brianna and takes her to an abandoned church, where Anthony has entered a fugue state as his body continues to deteriorate. Burke reveals that not only did he witness the police beat Sherman to death but he also saw Sherman return later as the Candyman after which he butchered his older sister when she summoned him in the bathroom mirror of their apartment. He plans to have Anthony gunned down by the police, creating a new legend in which Candyman is an instrument of vengeance rather than a symbol of black pain and suffering. To complete Anthony's transformation into Candyman, he saws off his right hand and replaces it with a hook. Brianna manages to escape the church and is chased into the Cabrini Green row houses by Burke, whom she viciously stabs to death. Anthony appears and collapses into her arms as the police, lured to the scene by Burke, show up and shoot Anthony to death. Brianna is handcuffed and placed in the back of a police serve where an officer attempts to intimidate her into agreeing that Anthony provoked the other officer into shooting him. Brianna uses the car's rearview mirror to summon Anthony, now Candyman, and he massacres every police officer at the scene. As more police arrive, Candyman takes on the appearance of Daniel Robert or Tony Todd and gives Brianna a single instruction, tell everyone. And that's a wrap for today's recap. We hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane with us. Now, as promised, it's time to announce our monthly giveaway program. Every month, we'll be selecting a few lucky subscribers who have commented on our videos to receive some amazing gifts related to the movies and to shows we've recapped. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our daily recaps and enter the giveaway program. Remember, spoiler alert, and until next time, happy watching.